Here's a video of the track gear that I wear. Start off with the gloves. Again, we have the Knox Handroid Armored Full Gauntlet CE Approved Glove. Kangaroo Palm. Nice palm sliders. Boa strap system. And those pretty extreme robotic finger protectors. Then we have a Arai helmet. This is the Corsair 5, I believe. Nikki Hayden edition. Over to the suit. This is just a basic cowhide suit. Generic, no name. It has, of course, knee sliders, but internally it'll have access points to swap out the armor. These have been upgraded. It came with basic CE approved. I stepped it up to level two. Also in the elbows, forearm. Internally, it would have a compartment for a back protector. I took that out because I opted for an external back protector, which I'll show you in a second. Here's the back of the suit. It has flex panels in the back. It has an aerodynamic speed hump. This is raise for aerodynamic flow over the helmet and back also it keeps your keeps your head kind of propped up in the event of a crash this is the CE level 2 approved back protector that I prefer to wear it's full back it'll cover every part of your back it has kidney armor as well this is also made by Knox this is called their Micro Lock CE Level 2 Protection. Fairly cheap, but you get the CE Level 2, which I like, so I don't end up in a wheelchair my whole life. Just in case. Then we have the Chest Protector. This is an Alpine Store. Alpine Star, excuse me. CE Approved. The slide's in the front of the suit. I'll show you right here. It just slides in like that. And then you zip up. Zip, zip. So you got back and front. And then you got everywhere else. Then, of course, we got to have the boots. These are a pair of CD boots. They have the old strapping system like your rollerblades used to have zipper so yeah that is pretty much the gear that we have to wear on the track favorite probably these favorite someday we'll get a new one of these that was cheap what are you gonna do just don't crash huh ha and there he is Peace.